And I'm John P. And we are here at the AT&T Developer Summit, AKA the hackathon to end all hackathons. Ooh, the that... mother of all hackathons. Well, you can't go wrong there. There are about 900 developers what? here and in other rooms working their butts off 24 hours to develop and create an app. That is insane. It is. You know, you know they may be making some, right now, somebody be, may be making the next Twitter. They may be the making next the next big thing, whatever that Snapchat. might be. You know, a hackathon or hacking, it used to be kind of a negative connotation, but really not anymore. Now it is full of excitement. It's, it means creation, innovation, development, all that good stuff. So it's a way for community, for developers to, to come together with the community and um, be able to learn, create, all of that. How does that benefit at and we have APIs, right? So <laughs> that's the easy one, right? So you go to developer.att.com, you can check out our APIs, right? We also have connected car, digital home, uh, digital life, apologized, uh, connected car, uh, ATT drive, right? Uh, and so you can check out those new APIs as well. Um, and then the larger uh, interest is in the community and really just helping out uh, the different different communities come together as well as uh, give people opportunities, right? It's it's um, We have access to a lot of the sponsors and so, you know, I love to be able to give back to the communities and enable people that haven't seen microprocessors before or you know, be able to build a, uh, an app that remotely opens your garage door or see your temperature in your house. Uh, just the opportunity to be able to interact with the senior developers that can enable that kind of activity and, and at least, if nothing else, guide you down the path of learning about it more. Regardless of why a person might come to a hackathon, they now have to pick a team, pick a project, and put away any potential issues to work together. There's no time to waste. So my brother and I, we are building a custom sole app. Basically, we take the Sensoria socks that are able to uh, measure the pressure once you step into them. And with that, we want to use that data to create our own 3D printed custom soles. My team is building on the Belkin Wemo for home automation for anyone who is an autistic child to an adult struggling with sensory sensitivity. We're working on something called Dude, Where's My Steps? And this is an in-dash navigation app for a vehicle. You will enter your destination and we'll find you a parking spot based on the number of steps that you'd like to reach for the day. So we won't park you as close as, as you normally would. We'll put you 500 to 1,000 steps further away so that you make sure you hit your fitness goals. So it's, dude, where's my steps? <laughs> uh, the main thing is to try to put our heart into solving a real world problem. Around a third of truck drivers fatalities are um, intoxication related, test positive for intoxication. So I want to create something that can test different types of hard to detect intoxication like cocaine and methamphetamine in real time. One of the cool things about the entire hackathon is the availability and the access to people with all kinds of excellent information. All these guys walking around with the orange ties on, they are experts. Some of them are even wearing their ties backwards by the way, which I got to give them style points for that. But these guys come from the various sponsors, they're entrepreneurs, they have a lot of experience helping to do the kinds of things the teams here are working on. Well, I work on uh, for at and I'm one of the architects for two of the APIs that we're providing for the service here for the hackathon. and. Um, uh, help them with using those services, uh, giving them, uh, tweaking their ideas, you know, maybe give them a little push on to, you know, maybe that would be a good idea for your app, or how about you try this, or also if they have coding help, uh, they need some help with that, or, or any general questions about APIs or AT&T services. So I'm getting very interesting question, like uh, how to use the API, what, uh, what not to use, and some interesting question like how can I use a different way of API? For example, they want to use a remote uh, RTC API, which we haven't yet posed, but they are asking about the future APIs, how we, how they want, how they will use the API, and there are a lot of good concepts. All right. we're, we're actually with the M2X team, um, and we're the kind of the product behind M2X. So we're, we help build it, and we're here to, to help the, the developers uh, integrate with M2X and their projects. One of the things we do is we go to individual tables. We ask if anyone has any questions or needs help integrating. Uh, we also, you know, w during the time when there was a, a huge line, uh, we were out there canvassing, handing out, you know, free developer passes. So. You know, you can get that free developer account. Uh, but we also encourage people to come to the table. So, and, we, and we've got a great staff here. We've got about 10 people on the ground, a lot of engineers. So it's, it's fantastic, yeah. 
much, but we've really enjoyed uh, hanging out and, and doing the AT&T stuff. Um, the guys that we've met here through AT&T are really cool and fun, and so it's it's awesome. And there's guns on the table. There's a lot more gear here than, than we are usually uh, accustomed to. Uh, there's so much that it's almost overwhelming. It is very overwhelming. All the vendors that are here, and they're, they're so open and willing to help you get their stuff to actually work on whatever platform you're trying to do. So The sponsors are a huge part of AT&T, right? So as the sponsors, they come with creative mind, like for example, the blue IBM, they come with a platform where you can use instantly deploy uh, our code to a server, which is awesome integration. So like any, any partner coming, they come with integrating with at and APIs. They are not separate. They are part of at and solution that developers can hack in, and then there's a huge creativity comes with the partners. at and can't stand alone. We need all partners to support us to build a better product. Well, at and I, I got to say, um, the team with Alex Don and everybody else, they throw a really good hackathon. There's real prizes, there's gear, there's cool sponsors, you get things that you can use for your project, um, good food, it's, um, it's cool. And they don't like, you know, try to take your rights or something like that. So honestly, for a huge company to do that, that's pretty uh, progressive and I think pretty cool. And Hello. that's why I come to at and Hackathons. Guys, come up here. Get the check. That's the most important thing. Photo up. Great job. Wow, what an amazing hackathon. This has been an incredible event full of energy, full of development, full of creation. I'm not full of energy anymore. Do you realize I stayed up the entire 24 hours? So did these guys. I know, but I didn't have to. Well, I that, just did. that was on you, John, then. I know. But yeah, it is amazing. <laughs> Uh, I wonder what kind of cool things are going to come out of this. These, you know, the cool thing is all these guys got to get together and make new friends. Yes, new friends and uh, new apps for us to use after the fact, which I can't wait to do so because I saw some really cool ideas here. Yeah, that is true. And you know, there's nothing really better than for geeks than to be able to kind of get together with people who think alike. Like-minded. Do something fun, just totally geek out. That is and true. And there was free Wi-Fi and Red Bull and food. There was a lot of Red Bull. I had a lot of Red Bull. I stayed up for 24 hours. That's probably why I have so much energy at the end of this hackathon. Why do you get to sit up there and because, I get to stay down here? Because I'm lazy. By the way, did my makeup make it through the entire event? All 24 hours. Nice. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed all the live coverage here from the AT&T Developer Conference Hackathon. And thanks to AT&T for making such a great event that uh, inspires uh, new things and, and awesome awesomeness. That is true. Speaking of awesomeness, thumbs up on YouTube. Let's see if you got them. All right, bye, guys. Bye.